Hey, yo, what's up, dog? I'd like to thank you all for, uh, this Dr. Pepper. Oh. Would you look at that? My necklace is all turned around. There we go. So here's a public service announcement, guys. Um, if you ever wanted to, you know, put your video up in a short amount of time, I'd just like to let you know that quick play is really pretty terrible at doing what you want to do. But back from where we left off, I was going to say that I don't think I would see Parsons in a cop car being arrested for something that she did, because although Parsons threatens it, I think she's got a, got a good heart. I think someone would have probably framed her. Or perhaps she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The change I'm looking most forward to in the coming years, four or eight, possibly, um, is the change in foreign policy. I believe that because of globalization and, oh god, I hope that didn't just cause, la cause lag. Um, because of globalization and how our resources are becoming more limited and how the discrepancies between the rich and poor are becoming so different that our relationship with other countries and people within our own country even are very important and perhaps one of the most important things or decisions that we ever make. So I hope that decisions we make with others end up being good ones. If my future grandchildren or children were to ask me what the night Obama was elected was like, I would say that it was the first time in my generation's lifetime, I think, that we discovered that politics is an active process. Um, obviously, before uh, President Bush, I don't think anyone my age was actually actively involved in their politics. I don't think little babies cared about Clinton and shit like that. <laughs> um, but I think that when I say active politics, all these people getting involved for the first time that never did, and how all the demographics of this election have changed, how voter turnout has gotten so freaking awesome, it's like, wow, people are actually starting to realize that politics isn't just something you watch on television, it's something that you do and everyone participates in, whether you like it or not. So it's like, damn. It's, it's like you're, instead of watching a soap opera, you're actually being like, Por que Maria? Let me give a shout out to Parsons and that I love your new idea. So here's my acronym. Peeves ridicules all new kids. Get it? Get it? <laughs> nerd reference, nerd reference. But seriously, you guys, you have no idea how excited I am for making questions this week because that means I get to know my own answers to these questions. Is college as difficult as high school administration and teachers made it out to be? And as a sub-question for this question, um, was high school that much easier than college? Or was college that much more difficult than high school? And also, at the end of middle school, did you find yourself aspiring to have a career, a certain career, a very specific one? Um, or other than that, did you expect yourself to end up somewhere? Don't say college, but did you expect yourself to be in a certain position um, as a job? Or did you aspire to be somewhere in a job? And because I like to take up all your time, I will also ask, what is your favorite candy, and what is your least favorite candy? Marauders, I am glad to have spent a little more time with you this week, and Emily, I will see you tomorrow. My ridiculously chipped nails say mischief managed.